So we know that the blood and the life come from the Father. The Catholics worship Mary, which is pagan. And they also carry around a dead Jew on their cross. Also, they have a staff with serpents on it. Now, a whole lot of problems with that. Mary didn't, Mary just carried the gift of the world, the gift of salvation. You always heard Christ talk about the Father, the Father, the Father, which art in heaven. After this, pray, our Father, which art in heaven. When he said our Father, he was talking about himself as well. He didn't say our Mother, which are on earth. It's always the Father. The blood, the seed of the Father is alive. It swims up the canal. And out of the hundreds of thousands that go up that way, up the, up the tunnel of life, <laughs> only one makes it to the egg. You know that the woman's egg, her seed is dead. Therefore, you have the cycle period. When you watch the ridiculous court TV shows, paternity court, uh, uh, divorce court, and they want to get, and, and, and that polo child, she bring in four dudes into the courtroom and ain't none of them the daddy. <laughs> Embarrassing that child. They got to go off and find the daddy. You got to test the father's blood to see where you come from. You need the father's Dana as well as the mother's, but mostly the father, so you can know your medical history. If you and your brother, you and your sister have the same father but different mothers, that's your full-blooded brother or sister. If you and your brother or sister have the same mother but different daddies, that's your half-brother or your half-sister. It's the way God set it up. Because he put his life in the womb of Mary, who was a virgin, never laid with another man. That's how life is done. That's procreation. And the male seed is life. The yin and the yang, so to speak. And a spark happens when it hits the dead seed of the woman. Procreation happens. But two men, this is the reason why it's an abomination for same sex. Two men can't procreate and two women can't procreate why Satan pushes this agenda so because he knows it's an abomination to God and he knows that God hates it doesn't like it, despises it because it goes against the will of God and creation that's why the alphabet people have been pushed so much because in the underlying of, of the deep pot plan of the earth what better way is to push that agenda? Because when you push the alphabet agenda, the rainbow agenda, they, they're not procreating. They're not making life. They can't make life. Not naturally. This is one of the agendas of the Deep Pop program was to push same sex because same sex cannot procreate. So I was talking to one of the good brothers in the comment section about Ishmael. And he, it was all in love, but he disagreed about Muhammad. You know, he came from the tribe of Quresh. Now, when you spell it correctly, it's spelled Q-U-R-A-Y-S-H. And he said, Muhammad didn't come from Ishmael, which they do, which he did, okay? Because the Quresh was an Arab clan, okay? That inhabited and controlled the city of Mecca and Kaaba. The Islamic prophet Muhammad was born into Hashem, the clan of the tribe, which is Arabic. Now, if you even go Arabic, Arabic is a numerology it's a way to count. So 
I'm going to always look stuff up when people, if, if this, if I find it worthy, if I find it, okay, some things, okay, let me, let me check that out. So I, I'm checking this out. So Muhammad was a Muslim. He was of Ishmael because Islamic is, is from Ishmael, the Ishmaelites. Okay. Now watch this. Let's get into this. Let's go to another thing that I pulled up. Okay. So let me go back to my email. All right. The Ishmaelites, not ites, the Ishmaelites. Now here's the question for you. Let me read this first in part. Because I'm getting to something about what I just said about you having you and your brother or your sister having the same daddy but different mother. You and your you and your brother and sister having the same mother but different fathers. Okay? The Ishmaelites, Arabic, Romanized, okay? Sons of Ishmael, Hebrew, Romanized. This has some things here that I'm reading, okay? I'll probably copy and paste this and put it in the comment section so you can read it. These were a collection of Arab tribes. So there are tribes, just like the Jews have tribes, right? Uh, tribal confederations and small kingdoms described in the Arab Aramaic trans, uh, tradition as being descendants from the name and named after Ishmael, a prophet, according to the Quran, the son of Abraham and the Egyptian Hagar. Now let's go back to your bloodline. So Ishmael and Isaac had the same daddy, but different mothers. This makes them blood brothers. I'm telling you, speaking from experience with my own family, my own brothers. Okay. This has been a question for forever in, in bloodline. When you talk about who's your half brother and your whole and your and your full sister and your full brother, you and your brother got the same daddy. Y'all full blooded brothers because the blood come from the daddy. Both of y'all gonna have the same Dana. But if you have the same mother, different daddies, y'all gonna have partial Dana. So what is a Muslim? If Ishmael came from Abraham and so did Isaac, who is Abraham? Let's let the Jeopardy music play. Abraham, everybody should know this question. The answer to the question, Abraham was what? Abraham was a Jew. Was he not? He was Jewish. Just in case we're confused, we'll do this. I, 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 I'm going somewhere about this whole thing that we're going through. Remember what I said about identity crisis? Remember how we are fighting over identity and lineage okay this is common sense right here folks about your father and your mother 72,000 from the mother 72,000 from the father so 144,000 strands Satan introduced the third one in the garden of Eden he also introduced another third one with the needle but we know scientifically, when you get a blood test done and you're trying to figure out who the daddy is, Papa's baby, pop, Mama's baby, Papa's maybe, right? That's the saying, right? But you got to go to the father to get the information. You want to know your health history, you got to go to your father and figure out high blood pressure, hypertension, alcoholism, any type of uh you know this, you know this, you know what I'm saying? When you go, you know the thing, you know the thing that Joe Biden like, the thing. 
When you go to the doctor, when they ask your health in your history, both on your mother and your father's side, you got predominant things that's in the blood on both sides of the family. But to know the truth, you can't get it all from the mother. You got to get you got to get it from the father. The same way it came from the father to Mary. Yeah, Christ had earthly half brothers and sisters, right? Because of the flesh of Mary. But that wasn't none of his daddy. And he barely, rarely recognized his mother. Everything was about the father. In Jewish tradition, Abraham is called Abraham uh, Avinu. Our father Abraham, signifying that he is both of uh, biology, biological, biology, I can't say that word, biological, biology. <laughs> I'm stupid today. Uh, progenitor of the Jews and the father of Judaism, the first Jew. And I feel real stupid right now. Bio. Biological. 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 There you go, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Okay. Abraham is regarded as the first Jew. And Abraham and Sarah had Isaac which was not the first son, but he was the promised son. And they laughed at God because they thought they were too old. And from Isaac would come what we see today in Israel and Jerusalem, the people now. But they didn't believe that. So Sarah gave her handmaiden to her husband, which was Hagar, and she was an Egyptian. So before this time, there was no such thing, or was it, a Muslim or Arabic nation, okay? Because Ishmael was the father of their religion, of their people. But if Ishmael and Isaac got the same daddy, got different mothers, but they got the same daddy and that blood running through both of them is Jewish. The blood of the righteous man flows through Isaac and Ishmael, which is the father of Muslim or the Ishmaelites. So what are you really fighting for? Cain killed his own brother. What about the brothers that one conned the other one out of his heritage? Esau and Jacob. All throughout Bible history, there's always been one brother out of the two that was on something different, had different ideas. Wanted to, wanted to dominate the other one. Abraham was a Jew. So that makes the father of the Muslims, which is Ishmael, okay? Let me go back to my text. The Ishmael, the Ishmael, the Ishmaelites, okay? The foundation of the Ishmaelites is a Jewish foundation is founded on Jewish blood, Holy Spirit led and fed. And here they are arguing and fighting and killing each other because of the identity crisis. Ishmael's mother was, a, was an Egyptian. So let's do this. Okay. Hagar. According to the book of Genesis, Hagar was an Egyptian slave, a handmaiden to Sarah, then known as Sarai. 
So we know we know that Sarah gave Hagar to her husband. Okay. Now here's the thing. It says, we know that Hagar beget Ishmael from I from 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 Abraham. So that means Ishmael, the blood of Ishmael, the dominant blood in Ishmael is Jewish blood. Became Ishmael, Ishmael comma, became the progenitor of the Ishmaelites, generally taken to be the, the Arabs. Okay, but what the point that I'm making here is, these are two brothers fighting who got the same daddy, on whose daddy was a Jew, Jew-ish. So Ishmael was a Jew. Okay. Hagar was born in Egypt. She died in Mecca, according to Islam, unknown according to Judaism and Christian and Christianity. Okay. So, then we need to find out what race was Hagar from. Let's do this while we're on this video. Okay. What race was Hagar from? Or the descendants. Let's just go. Let's just do that. It's giving me some other things. Okay. So, so watch this. While race is not meaningful term in biblical period, Hagar's identity as an Egyptian woman was led some interpreters to see Hagar as an African. Let me put this thing down. Hagar was, as interpreters, Egypt, Africa, as African and dark-skinned. Some readers see in the relationship between Sarah and Hagar, the story of the white female oppressor and the black slave woman. Mm, mm, mm. All we doing is just doing a little research, folks. That's all. That's all. So, the what tribe was Hagar from in the Bible? Okay. The rabbi presents Hagar, Sarah's Egyptian handmaiden, as an Egyptian princess whom Pharaoh, king of Egypt, gave to Sarah as a gift. She grew up in the home of Abraham and Sarah. We're trying to get some lineage. Okay? So we can figure out what it is that we're looking at that's going on today. So I've already established to you that Muhammad was Arab. He came from a different tribe. But he still came from the lineage of Ishmael. And Ishmael is a Jew. And half African. If Hagar, his mama, was African. Family feud going on right now. Right? This is why I be telling folks, just do a little research. Okay? What was the ethnicity of Hagar in the Bible? So we know she was Egyptian. She was from Africa. They think she was dark-skinned and African. And supposedly Abraham was a Jew 
and 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 Abraham and, and Hagar had a baby, so the baby was half Jew, half African. Hmm. But here's the whole point of this. Right now, none of that matters. If we talk about getting to the kingdom of heaven, we just talk about earthly lineage to understand what's happening in the realm of this war and who's really fighting. It ain't two strangers fighting each other. It's two brothers fighting each other. From the same daddy, which is Jewish. Now they want to call this the holy war. I got another video I made earlier, but I'll probably upload that last. I really wanted to get this one out. This has been on my mind, Holy Spirit led and fed. Okay. So. Let me do this one. Because I brought this up and I want to make sure. The Arabic number system is based on a Hindu Arabic numeral system. So when you say Arabic, it's really a number system. Arabic numbers are written, so it's really a, a way of math. This is something that I've heard a while ago, but we do know that the term Arabic and, and, and Arab and Arabic is just a way to count. It's a way of math, like you say geometry or, or, or uh, chemistry. Uh, it's, it's mathematic. But the Muslim. Now, anybody, all the research I'm showing you, folks, I'm, I'm doing it right here live for you on my phone, folks, just using the Internet and, and, and typing in basically what we know in Scripture. OK. What is the Muslim sign? What is the Muslim flag? Okay, what is the Muslim flag? And that Muslim flag is what? Do you know why it's the sun? You do, do you know why it's a star and a moon, a crescent moon? Because that's when God came to Hagar at night in the desert. They thought they were going to die because it was cold. And God blessed Hagar and her seed. Said her seed would be a terror in the world and would be most hated by everybody. Because he is the number of rebellion, which was a curse put on him by his mother, handmaiden, Sarah. She gave uh, uh, Ishmael's mama to her husband as, as an act of rebellion against the word of God that said, you and your husband will come together in your old age and have a baby and have a son, and his name would be Isaac. He's the promised son. Ishmael was born out of rebellion to the commandment of God. That's why his number is 13. And that was the, and that was the judgment put on him by God in the desert at night when you see their when you see their flag a crescent moon and a star that's because that's what it was hanging in the star hanging in the sky that night it's scriptural he is the he is the child born out of rebellion of Sarah and Abraham you don't believe me you ain't never read that go back and read it the act of her giving her that it wouldn't fly today because ain't no ain't no women going ain't no sisters that i know you can't have my man i ain't doing that i ain't sharing my man with nobody so because they didn't believe that they could have a child out of rebellion and not waiting on god they gave abraham had to agree to it because he laid up with her got her pregnant sarah gave her handmaiden to her husband out of an act of rebellion to the word and the promise of God. They couldn't wait. This is the reason why I say we live by purpose. And if you don't live by purpose and you can't wait on God, you're going to have accidents out of rebellion because you didn't want to wait on the word of God to come and manifest. This is what happens. So the judgment and he blessed them. You're not going to die, but your son is going to be a fool. Put it in context. 
and your son is the brother of Isaac, whose daddy was the first Jew, the Bible says. The first Jew that comes that all these wicked paths, you're going to have an Abrahamic blessing and blah, 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 blah. I just read it to you. So Ishmael is really a Jew. Who comes from, whose mother comes from Egypt, who is black. Do the research on your own, folks. So we got two brothers over here fighting in the Middle East, just as it was in the Old Testament before they came. You had um, you had two brothers in the beginning, uh, uh, Cain and Abel. Then you had Jacob and Esau, also brothers. Tension between them brothers. Tension between those brothers. One brother killed the other one. This is how it. This this is. Through the line of the Bible, this is what we always see. Even today, brothers and family members can't get along even today. One wants to be better than the other one. One wants to be the child that the parent wants to be the, wants to be that child or son or daughter that the parents favor the most. This is what we see in folks. I wanted to bring that to you because we really, and, and this goes back to the identity crisis that we are seeing, folks, identity problems family fighting and 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 these muslims think that they are and see here's the thing the reason why i brought that up because they hate jews but they are a jew <laughs> they are a jew mohammed you're a jew your bloodline comes from a jewish man you this this guy this dude in the comment well he they're not they're not uh, uh from ishmael yes they are <laughs> Yes, they are. I just proved it to you. They come from a different tribe out of Ishmael like we have tribes of Jacob. Both brothers had tribes. Both brothers are Jews because their daddy was a Jew. But one's mother was African from Egypt, possibly a black woman or a brown one, whatever you want, however, whatever. But you know what I'm saying. When you figure out what's wrong with this world and the identity crisis and people really get back to tracing back what's going on. Now, again, that ain't got nothing to do with you getting in the kingdom, though. Because this bloodline, this lineage is all jacked up. The only thing, the only bloodline that's getting you into the kingdom and standing before the father is the blood of the lamb that had been slain. Because once you accept Christ in God, there is none of this foolishness we're all one and the video that i'm upload after after this one today will explain that when i go into the scriptures again so think about that folks one brother who claims to be muslim is trying to kill his brother who he hates but in reality in his blood in the natural blood that's what he is <laughs> i just proved it to you peace out